What's going on everybody? Painblade back here again from server 1 representing ISC and guys today we're going to be doing part 2 of the Darkness and Light Showcase and none other than 4 star Donzo. Now I wanted to wait to get him to 5 stars but you guys know how the URs are working. I get him to 4, we'll represent them here into Showcase and then we'll do a Garo versus Donzo uh, Showcase like I've been doing with all the other ones and we'll walk through who is the clear winner between the two units. But without further ado guys, let's go into the Mummy Personified. Look at this guy, pure bandage on a throne. Alright, so... As you guys can see here, I've got the four star art, or three star art, sorry. Uh, the five star art, you guys can actually check out on the events page. I personally like this one better than the other one. I kind of like how calm and reserved and dangerous he looks here, and the colors represent him perfectly. And honestly, it's a little simple comparison to all the other ones that they've been bringing out recently, but it is what it is. He's still a new character. I'm kind of nice. It's kind of nice to actually see new characters come out rather than the same old recycled characters. Now, Gara, this is the second version. I think we needed a second version, but it is, it is refreshing to see someone like Donzo come out. Now, as you guys can see he's a d unit so let's let's look through his stats now for crit damage uh rate he's actually pretty high for a d unit this does take into account my gamma like always crit suppression is actually really high for him at 19.91 percent again gamma gamma related uh crit rate is low but that's very normal for a um for a d unit it'll definitely go up as you awaken him but it won't be that high d units are not me meant to be tanks they're usually sorry not meant to be damage dealers they're meant to be tanks right so you're going to get a good debuff and tank out of him with decent damage but you're not going to get someone like an a unit with crazy crit but on the other hand, his guard rate is really, really high. So 31% is really high as a base guard rate. Now, again, it does take into account the gamma, but still, as a base, with my gamma, that would be a really good start for him for guard rate. So he is very tanky. Guard suppression rate isn't bad at 15%. It's a little low, to be quite honest, but it's still not bad. And guard damage reduction rate at 22.94% is pretty decent. Now, what you want to really focus on when you get him up is the damage reduction rate. But, of course, that's only at 6 stars. And the damage increase rate is fairly low at 18.93%. So, overall, his stats are not bad he's really meant to be tanky so he's a good tank debuffer and you guys are going to see that when we go through his kit now link bonus wise he does require sai and yamato which you can get both pretty easily sai you can buy at the shop at the shinobi exchange shop for one star and the yamato you can pretty much farm him anywhere the new gara is required for his defense which is key for him actually and a as well too which a is farmable gara you can also get from the shop for the one star if you have enough points after getting sai or unlock sai using the arena shop and then of course lastly you need tsunade and og, OG kakashi you are so again all of these guys are, are actually purchasable from the uh shinobi exchange shop so easy to get guys now tribe special this one's a little difficult so i, lo I love the way it looks don't get me wrong it lowers one uh, so it hits one enemy um for 240 percent plus damage uh and re uh, reduces damage reduction rate by 20 percent first which is kind of cool so it does the reduction rate first and then deals the damage so it's actually a lot higher it increases chakra for everybody by 2000 which will go up of course if you enhance it and then boost attack for the rest of the battle by 10 percent. so it's actually not a bad chakra for what it does sorry not a, not a bad tribe for what it does but it, it doesn't it's a two-man tribe you guys know how i feel about two-man tribe i always go through this and it's never worth it animation wise fantastic but it is it is kind of hard to use this one if you don't have side level because because your tribe takes into account all of your power from both the offensive side from both the units so uh if Sai is not leveled up for you which a lot of people are still working on him you may not get the full potential if you want to use this right all right and then of course let's go into his enhancement in gear as you can see i've got mine for tier 15 uh limit break 2 let's just look at that real quick so additional shinobi trade effect as lowers all enemies attack and damage reduction rate at the start of the turn after the user has been defeated okay so he has to die for this to take into effect um with that being said, let's look at the skills. Wind style, giant vacuum bullets. Now this is a one enemy uh, single target attack. It lowers all enemies damage reduction rate by 10.89%. Boosts all allies damage increase rate by 17.78%, which is really high, guys. And boosts all damage reduction rate by 10.89%. So as you can see here, he does give you guys offense and defense in one and does hit really hard with this percentage um, for D unit especially. So A units are going to get hit pretty pretty hard here with, with this move going off. But the big thing here is his buffs and debuffs, right? So he's kind of known for a B, uh, to being a good debuffer and buffer so definitely if you're looking for somebody to to fill that spot he's a good he's definitely a good choice um i shall take care of them all and this here is actually a single target attack of course skill 2 lowers targets damage reduction rate by 31.23 percent for the rest of the battle that is insanely high so that is really good you definitely want to get his vitality 3 for this to proc because that is a really high percentage and most likely will stick for the whole battle uh, on any opponent no matter who you attack and you will be doing a lot more damage on damage on that opponent these are going to be great for things like fg and abyss guys 
Uh, of course, he's got attack and HP boost being a D unit. And leader of the foundation is actually a really good trait. It boosts all active allies damage reduction rate by 25.56%. That's insanely high if user is active at the start of the turn. Boost all active guard rate if the user is active at the start of the turn. And boost all active allies guard damage reduction rate if the, if the user is active. Now, these are all fairly high percentages for a trait. You don't see traits usually with these this many buffs with these high percentages. So in that regard, he brings a lot more to the table than just being a debuffer. He also brings a ton of utility for tanking. So a great tank overall, guys. Good unit. Um, Gear-wise, I've got him 70 across the board. Scrolls and Talismans, I've only got 11 because I've been filling up all my main units with that. But I've got 60 here. Uh, and then Vitality, you definitely don't need this if you have Psy. If you don't have Psy, because he's a tank, you might want to max this out. He will do just as more often. And that is actually going to be key for his damage, of course. This max out. This, like we mentioned, you definitely want to max out because you want the damage reduction rate to be proccing as much as possible. Then, of course, his Vitality, right? All right, so that takes care of that, guys. Now, let's actually look at a fight and see how we did. Now, I went ahead and did a fight, uh, the most recent one, just to show you his skill 2 and his... Um, uh, his jutsu. So we're gonna take a look at it here. Of course, we'll fast forward through everything that we don't need to see. So here's here's him from the start. Now right here, you're gonna see he's gonna do all of his buffs: the the guard damage rate, the damage reduction rate, and the guard rate was up. Here you're gonna see his skill two prog. Now watch. There you go. Look at Kakashi damage reduction rate. He, now he's gonna take a lot more damage. He almost got killed there. So that is definitely definitely key, guys, because that'll make everybody else hit that much harder, right? That's a good guard right there. So we'll go ahead and fast forward. And we'll get into his jitsu next. And and the thing with him is you want to put him on a team that doesn't have the same debuffs because you want the debuffs to cycle around every enemy, right? So put him in a team with somebody like um, like with attack buffers. So like Atachi, Kirin. I have him on that team because Rin is an attack buffer. He also is a debuff, but I just wanted I just had no placement for him in mind. But when you do yours, Put him in with like a Kirin or an Itachi and put him first and watch him do the B debuffs and then everybody else who has attack up and stuff will hit that much harder, right? So he's good. He's good placement as a, as a beginner placement. So his debuffs go off. Okay, so let's actually look at his, his Jitsu. So we watch my frames and then watch the enemy's frames, okay, while we do this. Alright, so here's the animation. There you go, as you guys saw that, right? Damage reduction rate down on enemies, damage reduction rate up, and damage increase rate up on, on my guys. So now we're going to be hitting way harder. Look at Naruto's damage there, 592k. That that was insane. That's, so that is attributed to the fact that he just did all those debuffs on those enemies. And the fact that he gave me damage increase rate up by 18%. So that is the kind of damage you're going to see and on the enemies, plus damage you're going to do because you're getting the buffs from him. So definitely, guys, worth getting Donzo up if you have him. Is he a skippable, uh, skippable character? Absolutely. You can live without him. He's not going to be the greatest character on your roster, but he's definitely going to be one of the best utility characters you have. So don't sleep on him if you have him, guys. Just because you don't like the character doesn't mean he's not a good character, right? That's the main thing. I always say, give me a stick man with the best kit. I'll use that stick man over anybody. Animations are great, but at the end of the day, you're playing a competitive game to have fun, but at the same time to dominate, right? So make sure you keep that in mind his kit is very very good um so definitely don't sleep on him guys highly recommend getting him up um and i and if you guys are looking for a good debuffer in a tank and you want to for example replace someone like gara he's a great replacement for someone like gara especially if he didn't get sasori or anybody like that because he provides you all the utilities that gara does plus gives you a lot more power damage and buffs on on top of that Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the showcase. I hope that helps uh, people clear up how good Donzo is. He's a great character. I'm not going to give him a rating yet. We're going to do that on the next tier list, so hold tight. And uh, this is Payne. If you guys have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Hit up the... Um the comment section if we our guys our membership group is growing we're at 21 members in less than three weeks already uh and those members are seeing such success so if you guys are interested in joining uh there's a join button there for some countries click on that you can check out the perks if you do join hit me up on my discord uh send me your comment section and i'll see if you joined and if you do you'll get into my discord and we'll start working together i can tell you success stories like people have gone from like 50th place to first place in arena uh people have started coming to my group with 27 percent in fg we got them to 94 percent and they're about to finish today so there's 
just a lot of success going on in this channel and the, and it's such a positive vibe guys we've got some of the best players we've got some most positive players and i'm keeping it like that because i want to small it and, and people who are paying are going to get the best out of it so um i hope i hope you guys are are uh looking to using donzo if you are and if you have any questions let me know and i'll answer them in the comment section all right guys this is pain have a wonderful day